it's more difficult than I imagined. <laughs> Hello. Get your teas ready. Not sugar, it's honey. It's far superior. I don't know if any of you have ever tried this before, but making your tea one handed while looking at a phone screen and trying to film it is quite difficult. Here we are. We're going to get to the roof and then I'll say hello properly. I've got everything we need. Welcome, have you all got a cup of tea? I can see everyone's live chat, that's really cool. Oh, how do I change it so I can see everything? Right, hello, welcome, ahoy! Welcome to this narrowboat adventure. So today we are trying, I think, the second ever live stream on this channel from the roof. So you're probably going to want to see the gorgeous view from where we are. Well, I have had the, the spot of the boat that is still in the sun because basically half of it is in shadow at the moment. So let's say a quick hello to everyone and then we'll get on with what I had planned. But gosh, there's a lot of messages. Hello very much. Okay, right, let's try from the beginning. Oh, golly gosh. So I'm going to say hello, IJ. And hello, old grunger. Elsa, Phil, Andy, uh, Nix, John, Richard, Dave, Malcolm, Robert, Brett, uh, Anfield Road, goodness, a whole road, has a YouTube channel, uh, Lewis, Paulie, Tom, Mike, um, and that's where I'm going to stop because I think otherwise we're going to have way too many uh, hellos and not enough fun and adventure. Oh, I did forget the biscuits. Uh, well, it's okay. If you want biscuits, you can have biscuits. I'm going to have some biscuits later. Glad everybody's got their tea. Is everybody here? Great, fantastic. Um, Seb, I, I'm sure we'll be doing a uh, full-on concert. Actually, I think he's planning to do that next week. And if you can't bear to be parted from any of his music for today, um, at the minute, all of his music is suddenly since... Monday now available on iTunes. You can either search Sebastian Goodwin Day or this narrowboat adventure soundtrack. I think you'll find it. Yeah, coffee will do. Um, even hot chocolate or squash, whatever you like. Um, but uh, I'm going to have a tea. Um, so yeah, if you want to hear some more of Seb's music, then you can. But unfortunately, he's teaching a lesson. He teaches guitar, so he's doing that right now, and he's going to do a concert on the roof next Wednesday. So, what have I got on my itinerary? I'm just going to take a look. Oh, okay, so, 
I wasn't sure whether or not you would like to do... Oh, Raymond, thank you for purchasing Seb's, uh, Seb's song yesterday. He did say a massive thank you to who, anyone who has purchased any of his music on iTunes, because that does make a huge difference. Um, but it is basically available everywhere now, it seems, which is pretty cool. Um, so, yes, so I thought we could do something. I don't know if any of you are particularly a fan of a huge number of other YouTubers, but there is this tag that they do called the assumptions tag, which is where the viewers sort of say assumptions that they have about them and then they can clear them up. So for me, I've written out like some common assumptions about me. So if you guys can't come up with anything, I can give you some clues. Um, but I wondered if you guys wanted to send me some assumptions and I can um, put some of those assumptions to rest and clear some things up. So does anybody have any assumptions? <laughs> So one that I get a lot, to give you an idea, is that I'm vegetarian or vegan. And I'm not. I am a hippie. John says he thinks I'm a teacher. I'm not a teacher, actually. Now, I have about four jobs, but, um, <laughs> holy, I'm not always cheerful, no. Uh, but, yes, let's go back to teacher. No, I'm not a teacher. Um, I do sometimes, I have done a little tiny bit of teaching, but that's been, um, within the context of my field like I am a, a performer so I've done a bit of teaching within that um, but what I currently do is uh, I do acting for corporate events mostly and I also work at gym and I do YouTube as you know which isn't obviously my brain main breadwinner but that's one of the things I do and I also sometimes sell books um, and then I also sometimes play characters for immersive, um, immersive, what's the word? Immersive theatre pieces in shopping centres, basically. Um, but mostly my work is medical role play and the gym. Um, and that's kind of what pays the bills in general. But at the moment, all of that's cancelled except for YouTube. Um, but that's okay, I'm happy to have time to be doing YouTube. Can you get Sib's music on Amazon Music? I'm not sure. Um, I will post when this video is ended and it's like uploaded again as an actual video. I'll post links in the description. I think there's a link in the description of the last video and there will be a link on my Facebook page as well. So you can have a look there if you are looking to find Seb's music. I, uh, it's gone through a publishing company so they've uploaded it lots of different places. Hi there, 3 a.m. in New Zealand. Well, I'm glad I can keep you a little bit company. Um, am I a biologist? Golly gosh, no. Um, oh, you all seem to think I'm terribly clever, which is very complimentary, but not strictly true. I am also a full-time student at the moment, uh, technically. Um, <laughs> it's hard to say I'm a full-time student when I have so many other jobs, but I am a student as well. Um, I'm studying counselling. Primary teacher, you know I get told a lot that I should be a primary teacher, so that's not um, unheard of. <laughs> and while Lisa's put, I assumed you like the cat more than Seb. I don't know, it's a close call, they both have my heart. Um, what's going on? Yes, I study counselling, John. Leon, you're absolutely right. I have absolutely no problems with feeling my inner child. So thank you very much for your compliment. Um, oh, I want to say a massive big shout out to Bike Packing Adventure, um, watching this and their quick coffee break from the NHS. Big ups to the key workers. Um, I do volunteering as well. And so with my volunteering, I am classed as a key worker. I work in a crisis. So yes, it's a busy time for all of us and I'm sure especially you. So thank you very much for everything you do, bike packing adventure and enjoy your coffee break. Well deserved, I'm sure. Uh, ah, I've got another assumption. I prefer summer over winter. That is so true. Yes, I absolutely do prefer summer over winter. I find winter really, I always have found it really quite difficult to get through. Um, particularly um, January and February, I just get super depressed. Um, which is why sometimes my videos can be a bit slow. But this year I was just genuinely very ill over January and February. Well, mostly January, basically from January 1st to 
February, I want to say 10th, I was really sick with like, um, well, they thought it was sinusitis, but the medicine for sinusitis didn't work, so we're not really sure. Have I heard of da from David? Yes, I have heard, heard from David from Cruising the Cut. Um, I believe he's just got back in the country. If you look on his Twitter, I think he just posted that on there. Nick says, am I posh? <sighs> I think I talk a bit posh because I have drama training. And also because I grew up basically in East Anglia. I grew up in the Fens. So basically where I'm from, you either talk quite middle class or you talk like you're from Somerset. It's probably the, sorry, the coots are being very noisy, I do apologise. Um, I'd say now I wouldn't consider myself to be particularly posh. I consider myself to be mostly grubby, grubby and chaotic. Um, but I'm sure others do consider me to be posh. I'm sure that having this voice and being a white lady gives me a lot of privilege in life. Yes, I do do theatre. Um, I do actually run a, a comedy night on a on an Arab boat, although at the moment that's not quite going. Do I play a musical instrument? I do play a little bit of guitar, but not very well and um, not very often. <laughs> Romsky says, "Golly gosh, you're definitely British." Well, that's a terrible assumption. I'm actually half English and half American. I was born in Tennessee, but good try. Hola, Costa Rica. Costa Rica. Oh, embarrassing. Hello. Thanks for joining us. I hope it. Oh, is this the person who it said that it's six a.m. where they are and they are going to watch before their classes? I hope it is. Oh, David says he assumes I'm in my twenties. Does anyone else want to guess my age? I think that could be quite fun. I'm fine, thank you very much for asking. Well, yes, yeah, summer in Australia is very different to summer here. I mean, summer here is probably winter in Australia. Everyone's laughing because I said, golly gosh, sorry. <laughs> right, let's have a look. What can we find for some more assumptions? Um, I am going to talk more question and answer stuff in a little while because I want to do that as a separate section um, but I will try and remember I'm sorry I can't pronounce your name but I have a question that is not an assumption and I maybe will come back to that in a second Seb's, Seb's music isn't currently used on other YouTube channels, though I'm sure if other YouTube channels would like him to write them some music, he would be more than happy to do so. Oh gosh, I keep accidentally answering questions. Okay, well, if there's questions, I'll answer them. Uh, I have one here that says, am I still allowed to travel on my boat? Are there guards at locks? There's no guards at locks, um, but we have been told basically we don't have to move every 14 days at the moment, only um, when we need to do our facilities. What am I doing to stay out of boredom? Um, well, I've got lots of university work at the moment. Sorry, I didn't mean to put my finger over there. Doing lots of uni work at the moment. I'm doing this, doing lots of, hopefully, lots of stuff for the channel. I did a workout this morning. Uh, we've got some paint that needs to be painted on the walls at some stage, so that's a video you can look forward to. And also, I'm gonna have uh, some gardening videos. I'll show you actually in a second. We have done a little bit of gardening already because we got some things but some things we haven't replanted yet. I've got some seeds I haven't planted yet. I've just got two that I put into bigger pots straight away because they look like they needed it. 36! Goodness gracious! That's not a compliment. <laughs> oh I wasn't expecting to be cold. I looked older than I was. That's exciting. So the general gist of what I'm getting, the youngest I had was 20s, the oldest I've had is 36, I've had 32, 33, 35, 36 in my 30s. I'm actually 30 this year so I'm 29 at the minute. 
Sorry if I'm a little bit slow on the... Oh yes, here we go, further down there's some nicer guesses. Uh, 27 is much, much more preferred. <laughs> anyway, got to work. Oh, well, take care, Alex. Bye-bye. Yeah, it is a really beautiful day here. No, I've never travelled to Australia. I do have some family there, but I've never been. Hello, uh, I've got Mom Rapper in Portugal. Nice to see you. Do I see living on my boats as a means to an end in life? Sorry, I'll say that so everyone can understand. Do I see living on my boat as a means to an end or a lifestyle choice? I see it as a lifestyle choice. It's totally not for some people. It's totally horrible and people couldn't think about wanting to empty their toilets or wanting to fill their water tank or worry about things like that all the time but for me it is like it's kind of like I found home like this is a community I feel very at home in uh, the people are very much my kind of people um, I like the sort of connectedness to nature of the of the waterways and and also just the connectedness to each other that's something I was really lacking in my life when we first moved aboard um, rather than uh, looking for a, moving on to a house we're looking for a bigger boat as our next uh, move so yeah I don't think we'll be coming off the water anytime soon <laughs> I know people behind me aren't sticking to the two meter rule it's very frustrating but I can't control what other people do the CRT actually did put a thing out saying that people aren't supposed to be jogging next to boats or being next to moored boats but you know you can't control what other people do you can only control what you do bald oh it's my thumb the bald headed man I'm sorry Boop. Uh, it's because I'm scrolling to see what everyone's saying uh, oh John Dawson I feel your pain Nobody likes to empty their water potty. But I can tell you, with time, you'll totally get used to it and it won't even be a big deal at all. Well, you know, everyone is allowed out for one um, exercise a day. And if you have a look, this is all flats. Oh, sorry, I'm just going to film it with the other camera so I can show you better. This is all flats here. So all those people have to exercise at some stage and there's lots of other buildings around and it's kind of just how London is. Yesterday what seemed to happen was that it got really really busy at about five o'clock but was fairly quiet up until about this point and then it just sort of ramps up and I think it's just as people finish their working from home for the day. Um, there actually is a sign further down the towpath on either side for the joggers to say that they probably shouldn't be jogging right next to the boats and could they consider using the park but doesn't seem to have made any much difference oh fairly poor thing stuck working away i hope you're not finding it too difficult it is this really uncertain time i don't want to talk about it too much i'm hoping this can take people's minds off it but it's a really uncertain time i think everybody's been really 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 affected and um, yeah, it is a little worrying. Would I rather fight a cat sized horse or a horse sized cat? Hmm, that's a question and a half, isn't it? I think I'm going to go with the smaller one, so the cat sized horse. I think that's probably the one I have best chance of winning. Although I think I'd just rather own a, a horse sized cat, that sounds delightful. Oh, John Dawson, you're in a marina, I see. Uh, well, if you're not doing it every two weeks, then it is an unwelcome friend, I suppose. I'd love to know where everybody's from, actually. So maybe if you can put in the comments where you're from, that'd be really good fun. So, um, we can move for... Um, 
we can move um but only if it's like necessary travel same as everybody else with a car or a train or whatever um we may move but at the moment this is a good spot because i can walk to my volunteering goodness gracious we've got people everywhere oh we've got a us marine we've got germany guildford oh my gosh i've been there have you seen my video where we got we moored in a we moored in a cow field in guildford and the cows came and licked the windows and one of them licked my hand and it was like the best thing of my whole life uh, we've got slough arm uh we've got perth cotswolds nottingham norway scotland usa oh this is really exciting um pennsylvania uh we've got someone in south london oh hold on no somebody's yeah so south london hey i love south london we used to live in south london before we were on the boats on the boat singular um and one thing that's always really made me sad is that they've filled in all of the canals in south london because i would absolutely love to be able to canal in south london canal boat in south london um, um, um oh i've lost where i was oh here we go we've got some people in ireland and in leeds martha's vineyard oh it's, i didn't realize martha's vineyard was an island that's cool not sure where Moray is. Maybe you can uh, extrapolate a little bit. Ben's on the River Lee. Yes, I love the River Lee. I imagine at some stage we're going to go there again soon. Although our plan for the summer is to head back on the Thames and go um, back onto the K and A and just explore the K and A because we've not done that bit before. Uh, Texas. Yeah. Oh no, I've lost everyone again. Hollywood, North Island. Uh, brilliant. Gloucestershire. Chessington. Oh, this is really amazing to see everybody's come from all these different places and they're watching today. It seems like I must have picked a fairly good time for people because maybe more people are able to be awake. Although, sorry to New Zealand that this is an awful time for you. Ah. Right, I'm going to try not to be so quiet for too long. Okay, what's next in my list? Oh, okay. Um, 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 um. Oh, and the other assumption I have on my list that I thought I better clear up, I've got two. And the first one is that people always think that Seb films the videos. He doesn't. I film most of the videos. He occasionally helps me. He's helping me at the moment because basically one of my... Uh, the camera lens I use most often broke so I took it apart to try and fix it and it needs a new part um, so I've got a different lens but that one is much more difficult for me to self film with so he is helping me for the duration of me not having a lens um, and yeah so Seb doesn't film and moreover uh, that is why there's never any footage of me driving I don't drive as much as Seb does but I do drive the boat um, or cruise the boat and that is something I do do but you don't see it very much in the videos because I can't film myself doing it I have to concentrate on what I'm doing Welcome, welcome everyone who's just arriving now. I can't believe this has already been 24 minutes. This is all very exciting. Um, I just wanted to just answer something from my last video because I've just been getting like the same comments over and over again from my last video. Is people saying, um, A, that I should get an inverter or a car charger for the videos. Uh, sorry, for, the, for charging my laptop. Um, I can't do that with my laptop. It um, basically doesn't have well, it's so power hungry because it's an editing laptop that I, it, there's no way to get a car charger that's powerful enough. So I just thought I would just clear that up and because I keep having to copy and paste the same answer over and over again. And what else has been going on? Oh, and, and the same thing with the uh, getting an inverter. We haven't needed an inverter for the last four years. Um, it's not something that we've... I mean, we considered it when we first moved on, but it's not something we ever thought was um, 
important to us. It's, there have always been other things that have been more important and kind of at this point it's like, well, I can't get it posted anywhere because we can't get posted to the boat, so it's just a bit of a... What can you do? Right, before we move on, is there any more assumptions anybody has that to tell me what do you think that I do when I'm not filming or what kind of boater do you think I am or I don't know, anything like that really, just for laughs and then we can maybe try and do something else. I can show you my plants and then maybe we can do a bit more chatting. Oh, where's all the video? Ah! I lost the chats, what's happened? Oh, maybe nobody's saying anything. Oh, no, yes you are, here we go. Oh, Devon's lovely. Mark. Um, I don't have a GoPro and I can't get anything posted to me. And to be honest as well, like I, GoPros don't have very good sound in, and, um, and so it would just leave me in the same position of still needing to charge my laptop uh, to be able to edit this external sound together with the video sound. I'm sure that Michael and Joe probably have external sound. Okay, take care everyone who's leaving. Uh, assumes I don't drink. Now, this is an interesting thing because I do drink, but I am not a person who drinks in an English way. Um, and by that I've just, oh, we're running low on battery so this can't last too much longer. I don't drink in an English way, meaning that, like, I do drink, but if I drink, I don't drink very much and I don't drink every time I go to the pub. Um, but I will drink sometimes, just not as much as most people seem to. Um, I don't make my own gin, no, but I have made slow gin before, so I guess that counts. I don't stick to the London area. We tend to um, be in London up until about this time of year um, and then we would normally go out over the Easter holidays somewhere a little bit further out but not all the way out and then we would go out um, again in the um, um, in the summer holidays and really go quite far usually we'll leave about June and we'll get back in September so it's sort of one of those things where it's like we are in London in the winter mostly but when we're in London it, it can be anywhere from like we'll go out up to like Tottenham Hale at the furthest when we're staying in London on one side and then we'll go like Brentford and Uxbridge and all those different places so we do go quite far out even when we're still in London no I don't own a car um, I can drive but I don't really need a car in my life so I don't right I'm gonna quickly down my tea. <sighs> um, I do, I've been trying to organise a Zoom chat, but I don't think that that's going to be something we can film for the, for the, for the boat tubers, no. Um, I could buy an inverter on eBay and do Argos click and collect but to be honest I haven't had a huge amount of luck with click and collect I tend to post things to either my work or my parents because so many times I've ordered things and then gotten to the place and it doesn't exist or the building's closed or just everything I every time I've done that it's just got whatever I've been trying to buy has gone missing I'm not a teacher. My partner's a teacher. That's why we tend to go out on the holidays. Um, he teaches guitar um, to school children. I'm a freelancer and the work that I do with dogs is based on their exams. So it is at school times of year. So that's why. I don't know if you know this, but I, I, I have an assumption that none of you have made. But I am I'm currently sat in a wheel. I, I, can't, I don't know if you can see <laughs> and it's very comfortable <laughs>
Right, okay, I'm just gonna quickly come down and um, show you my plants. Am I feeling tired? No. I'm not wearing makeup though, and I sometimes do in videos, so maybe that's why I look a bit sleepy. Actually, I did stay up rather late last night because I was doing my volunteering until midnight, and then um, we had a debrief uh, until half midnight. And then I had to walk home for 40 minutes, so that's probably why I look a tad tired, but I don't feel tired. Right, I'm going to show you my garden. Okay, so this is our Christmas tree. We're trying to keep it alive. Um, I've put it with more ground, but I didn't really want to get the one with crappy white stuff on it because I don't think it's very good for the tree, but that's what Seb did. I'm not really sure if these guys are some flower seeds that I planted previously or weeds. So we're waiting and seeing. This one I just got, and this one's going to go inside the house and it's a lemon balm. And so it's got this thing which is like a it's a it's a terracotta pot thing that you put a wine bottle in and then it that that feeds it the water so you don't have to remember to water it so much and actually it's finished the whole bottle of water so I'll have to fill that up later um, this is another one that another boater gave me I don't remember what it's called but it smells really I don't know, citrusy. Um, this is chives and moss underneath the chives. Um, this one's a new plant. This one is rosemary. Oh, I sometimes forget the difference between rosemary and lavender. One time I cooked a lamb and I accidentally covered it in <laughs> lavender instead of rosemary. This one is uh, this. <coughs> And that one's going to go on a planter on the roof. We've got another one of these box things. So we're going to put some flowers in there. And we also got these flowers. And then I also have just an absolute ton of um, seeds and some rocket seeds. But yeah, so at the minute it's a little bit messy out here. But we're kind of getting there. Oh, okay. What's going on now? And now I'm on the bow. So I just thought before I go, because at the minute my phone is fairly close to death, I'll just see if anybody said anything exciting or something I ought to reply to. If I could improve life on my boat, how would I improve it? Well, on the next boat, I'd really like to have a side hatch. Um, and that would be lovely. I don't know, I think the things from land that I missed most most is a bath and a freezer. Eh. But I don't necessarily know if, um, I just don't think a bath is practical on a narrowboat. And I don't think a freezer is either, really. Especially not if you're cruising. Okay. Hey, thank you very much for subscribing, James. Um... Like a fish. I'm not sure what Dermot is saying, but I do like to swim in the canals like a fish. Uh, I also like to do fishing, so I'm not sure what that necessarily means. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. I have enjoyed having a lovely chat with you in the sun. Um, let me just see. Oh, I think I've gone too far back. I do embrace my boaty life and I love it. Oh, that was what you were saying. When they said, am I tired? Do I feel tired? Because I was in a tyre. Okay. Uh. 
Okay. Have I ever been hypnotised? No. I did try and do that thing where Darren Brown did the live hypnotism thing and it didn't work on me. Okay, right, I think that's everything we need to say. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a lovely, lovely day and please do join us here on next Wednesday for Seb's concert. He's going to play some gorgeous guitar music on the roof and it's going to be beautiful. If you would like a notification of that, then please do subscribe and join us on this next Narrowboat adventure. There should be another video in between those two, but I have an essay due on Monday, so it probably won't be until Tuesday. Um, uh, I also have a Facebook page. You can see uh, the videos there in case your YouTube subscription box doesn't work. And I also have a Patreon. Uh, you don't have to do it, but if you would like to, I would be very grateful. And oh, I'm just trying to set this up so I can wave goodbye. Hold on. Okay, I think we got it. Okay, thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye! How do I end it? <laughs> oh no. Oh, have I done it?